Hi, Nandini. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Nandini? Sir, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. So, Nandini, uh, I was just going through your resume, and uh, your profile it looks uh, is fine for us. We want to proceed your profile. So, before proceeding your profile, do you have any question for us to regarding the job role? Any question about our company, about the profile, about the skills, the work culture? Anything in your mind you want to know? No, sir. I have gone through your uh, company and I have gone through the JD given by your company, and I am mm. very much clear about the JD and about your company. So, I have no questions for now. Perfect. So, uh, yeah. So I just want to know more about your, uh, uh, you know, uh, education, about your background, your uh, the profile, what you done in your uh, as as I can see, you are going to complete your graduate, you are a B.Tech in computer science engineering. I think you are completed engineering from MIT Pune, correct? Yes, sir. I'm gonna okay. complete my engineering now. You are going to complete in May month. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Uh, can you elaborate with details about your uh, education, about you, about your, uh, uh, you know, for professional and what project you've done? So it will be better understanding from both sides. Yes, sir, surely. Thank you for the opportunity. It's my pleasure to introduce myself. My na name is Nandini Sharesh Barkul, and I'm currently uh, located in Pune, and I'm currently pursuing my Bachelor's of Technology in Computer Science from MIT Academy of Engineering. And uh, talking about me, I'm very curious in nature, and I like to learn and explore more things. And as a part of that, uh, recently I had joined Data Gan for my internship of four months, where the role given was data analyst, and I used skills like SQL, My, uh, MySQL, uh, Excel, Tableau, PPT, and a lot more. So this uh, internship opportunity uh, uh, involved the task like uh, communicating with client and stakeholder to understand what exactly the business requirement is and to collect the data regarding that business requirement, and then to use uh, Microsoft Server to extract, manipulate data, and uh, derive some insights from that data. I also had a good knowledge on uh, Excel where I used uh, some filters and did some data validation uh, using uh, some conditional formatting and understanding what exactly the business uh, requirement is. And um, in that four months of internship, I could also be uh, able to make few dashboards on Tableau tool where uh, we could easily analyze how our data looks and we could uh, easily find out insights using that dashboard. So this is all about uh, what I did in that internship and uh, what are the skills that I've incorporated in this four months. Nice. I think you've done a lot of things in your internship at Data again. Yes, sir. So in this four months, you learn all the things? Uh, sir, I basically had few uh, basic knowledge in my college days and then to enhance my skill and to exactly know the experience of corporate and understand how okay. exactly a project works. I joined it again and uh, so could that enhance helped my you skills. To understand more about the industries on the real time scenario. Yes. Right. So why data science when you are into final year college student, there's other uh, platform is there or the profile is there you can choose maybe java.net you can go for a dba you can go to cloud you can security but why you choose data science Sir, as you know, uh, in all the job profiles, we have to somewhere incorporate data, uh, whether the role might be of developer, might, might be of security or any role, but uh, data is incorporated in all the roles. And uh, uh, it I find it interesting to get some insights from the data, to predict something from the given data. So I feel that uh, this career of data would uh, help me a lot in my future. And uh, as my, own experience says uh, after learning and enhancing my skills of data that uh, data is gonna uh, give me a career path and data is gonna help me to find a lot of things in daily life also in with perspective of my own uh, thought process and to analyze own things so i think uh, going with data would uh, be a better choice for me uh, in spite of different uh, domains to explore nice but what is a how data and uh, data science is helping day-to-day -day life in, you know, 
in in corporate world or in in our life how it is helping uh, sir so let's take an example uh, now if you want if our data is given to us and it is very huge and now we want to see that uh, how is our business growing year by year or we want to analyze few small things that why employees are leaving us or why uh, our profit is not increasing so to analyze big this this big data we cannot analyze by our eyes we need to do some uh, work on the data so wherever the data would be produced in the industry mm -hmm. we would uh, like right. to uh, imply something on that and get some insight which will help to grow ourselves so to optimize the uh, business we always require uh, data science and the data science is helping us in every domain so i feel that uh, that's the reason uh, people are opting for data science okay nice can you tell the different domain i know the, the most uh, people are using i know they are more prior to other domain i can give you few example the domains and what other domain are the frequently they are using data Sir, so data is probably also used in healthcare companies. Correct. Yes. Data is used in forecasting companies yes. where we can pre uh, predict our uh, climate change, rainfall, and all of that. Mm -hmm. And data is also used in retail companies. Yeah, even additional data is going everywhere. You talk about food industries, talking about retail, talking about government, talk about uh, real estate, talk about oil and gas, talk about. Uh, any sector even you know even election data is everywhere yes sir nice. Nice. how will define the data what are the different type of data is available sir so to uh, say what is data data is um... Uh, everywhere data is everything we have whatever we are producing whatever we are working with uh, is called data be it small be it large but uh, whatever that is going to give us uh, some insight whatever that is a raw that is called data okay what are the different uh, type of data is that till now you use or you can define what are the different form of data so data can be structural data yes, and unstructured exactly. data yeah so in current uh, your age or a project what are the different data you use like a structure or unstructured yeah semi structured data sir so uh, in my uh, project i had uh, used uh, structured data so uh, uh, where it was a uh, highly specified that what is the format it was really defined of uh, what is the format of the data and what okay. data type it has okay nice uh, can you explain that you mentioned that etl uh, data management and also you mentioned a capstone project in data management can you please elaborate from where is the role how you engage in that project and what your daily task on the project please Yes, sir, surely. So, so in my uh, ETL project that is mentioned there, so basically ETL stands for extract, transform, and load. So, where extracting of the data from different multiple sources into a large repository, uh, basically called as data warehouse, uh, mm -hmm. that was done for uh, that was done in the project. So, we uh, according to the business requirement, we collected raw data from different different multiple sources and brought together that data. So, the extract process was done there and. And then the data was transformed, and uh, once the data was transformed, we could be uh, easily use that data in a um, MS uh, server, and uh, then their uh, data uh, manipulation or data use or data analytics was done in that project. Okay, all right. So also, what are the different databases till now used? Sir, I have gone through uh, Microsoft uh, Server. I have gone through Oracle, and uh, uh, yes, this too. Okay. What are the different database? Uh, if you're telling uh, Oracle and Microsoft, what is the common difference in the two databases? Um, like you know, the I'm telling you syntax-wise. Any any difference uh, is that fine. Even somebody can uh, have use in Microsoft. They can even easily use also Oracle. 
Uh, yes, sir. The yes. Uh, basic line stays the same. Uh, if you want to extract some data, uh, we will always have the uh, syntax or the way of uh, using that data same. But uh, MySQL and um, uh, Oracle have their own syntax to go through. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I feel um, more of uh, the database is distributed into relational database and no, uh, exactly. non-relational database. Exactly. So uh, when we go through Microsoft SQL Server, it is a relational database. Exactly. And uh, when we uh, do MongoDB, that is like non-SQL database. Mm -hmm. And uh, Oracle, I guess, is a distributed database. OK, nice. So coming to SQL part, now we'll talk about flipping Microsoft uh, SQL database interview uh, questions like uh, what is where clutch and what are the different operator and how it is helping to the business point of view as a data point of view. Okay, sir. So where clause is used like a filter. If you want to uh, find out uh, some specific thing about um, uh, where we know that this is a specific requirement, let's take an example. If we want to find out uh, some uh, some business going on or profit in specific country happening. So there we can use a where clause that is basically filtering our data and getting our uh, uh, output. So that uh, that is where we use a where clause. Okay. Do you have a pen paper with you? Uh, yes, sir. I have. Yeah. Okay. Uh, construct a table that is called employee table, EMP table, and that contain name and a salary city on a gender this four attribute column is present in that employee table okay, okay. Uh, do i have to create a table uh, no 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 just uh, create a table so can you give the uh, you know top to uh, sal uh, em salary uh, from the employee table write the syntax uh, how to find the top to employee from salary table okay Yeah. Sir, uh, we can do it using uh, two uh, things. Uh, one is using the function that is uh, top n. Uh, so, and also the second one is using uh, um, limit. So mm. if we will uh, do uh, using top two, so mm. select a uh, top two name from mm. table name. Select. Select top two. Top two. Uh, Salary. Salary from table name. Yes. What is SQL join? And what are the different SQL join? Can you please elaborate? Yes, sir. So, so SQL join is basically you uh, is a clause that is used to combine rows of two or more tables where there is a condition that uh, both the tables should have something in common to join the table. So uh, SQL join uh, Point. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, yeah. so the uh, Tarian. Yeah. Okay, sir. So when we want to find some uh, common things between the two table, we use inner join where the matching values will be the output. And if we want to find all the record from the left table to the match record of the right table, we use left join. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to uh, get all the table, all the records from the right uh, table and want to get match records from the other table, we use a uh, right join. And if you want to get all the records that are either matched or uh, in the left or a right table. So we use full outer join. So these are the four different types of SQL joins. All right. So in the, uh, Ajay, I also mentioned that uh, you have a pen paper. 
Can you write a SQL yes. query to fetch the common record between two tables, modulo syntax? Yes, sir, surely. Okay, sir, I'm done. Yeah. Sir, uh, let's say the first table is A and the second table is B. So we will write select A dot name from table one, alias A, in our join table two, B. Okay, so mostly you want to use the inner join table when to get the common table. All right, thank you. Yes. Okay, so my next question and to another question. What are the SQL? Uh, um, Windows function you are using and what are the different Windows functions? Sir, so uh, different window functions <clears throat> uh, is a... Uh, like rank and all this, yeah. Uh, row number, and yeah, yeah, tile, yeah, rank. Yes. These are uh, the different uh, uh, window functions. Okay, what is the difference between rank and dense rank? Uh, sir, in uh, rank, uh, if we have uh, multiple records, uh, so um, the ranking would be done like an indexing one, two, three, four, or uh, five, uh, whether whether the record is repeating or not. And in dense rank, uh, if we have two similar records, it would be uh, ranked at the same number. Yeah. And uh, uh, so uh, this is like the difference between a rank and dense rank. Okay. What is fact? And what is the different fact and the dimensional table? Sir, so uh, fact and dimension table. So fact is basically uh, the numerical value mm -hmm. and dimension is like uh, the qualitative value. So mm -hmm. whatever uh, profit, loss, uh, whatever the numeric value is there that comes under uh, facts mm -hmm. and uh, whatever our, our uh, let's say city or uh, uh, name that comes under dimensions. Okay. What is normalization and denormalization? Can you explain that? Uh, yes, sir. So, so normalization is basically reducing our data to a simpler form, uh, breaking our data and uh, getting a simpler uh, way of that data. That is normalization. There are few steps of normalization to uh, bring our data into uh, different forms of normalization. Mm -hmm. And uh, denormalization is... Uh, uh, in normalization, basically, we try to remove the duplicates, we try to sort the data and get a, a good database or good data in normalization. And uh, in denormalization, it's the reverse way. Uh, we uh, incorporate uh, things and make a big data, whatever data we have, uh, we try to incorporate all the columns, all the data into that uh, big data. Okay. So that is like denormalization. Nice. Looks like a very strong knowledge in SQL. We're expecting yes, such sir. candidate. Nice. Thank so, you. So, uh, coming to a few questions from Microsoft Excel. Do you have knowledge of Microsoft Excel and Advanced Excel also? Yes, sir, I have. Okay. What are the size of a data we can store in Microsoft Excel? Uh, so, to my knowledge, I guess twenty thousand records can be stored in Excel. Okay. And uh, what what is the difference between database and uh, Microsoft Excel? Why, why somebody, instead of their using SQL database, why they're preferring Excel? Uh, sir, uh, in our uh, SQL, we cannot visualize the data. Exactly. Uh, whereas in Excel, we can make charts, we can make the dashboard using pivot table, and that would help us in better understanding about the business. Okay, and you answer that Excel content something around 20K. Yeah, it's yes, 10 lakhs of data, yeah, 20 T data. Just check it once from your end after finishing. Uh, okay, the, yeah. okay, 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 sir. What is your view look of formula? Uh, sir, uh, in view look of formula, we uh, in our formula bar, we type, uh, mm -hmm. we write type equals yeah. to 
we yeah. look up and the parentheses are opened yes then uh, then we give uh, uh, we give the um, lookup value mm -hmm. uh, followed by a comma and yes. then the actual value of our blank table cell array. where yeah. we have to hold a value yeah table or then the holding the value okay all right hmm. uh do you have a, a data visualization and business intelligence tool knowledge yes sir i know tableau tableau why tableau can you tell me why somebody is uh, you know going to use tableau too? Uh, sir, Tableau has its lots of products uh, such as Tableau Desktop, Tableau Public, uh, Tableau Server. So basically, it is a all-in-one package where we can use uh, uh, to make our dashboard and it is very handy, very, very easy to uh, make dashboards in that. We just have to drag and uh, put our columns into uh, the uh, column bar and uh, our chart is ready. And uh, Tableau works so smoothly, like uh, it gives us result within one second. Mm -hmm. So basically when we have large data, uh, it's very problematic in Excel to make the pivot chart uh, within less amount of time. But whereas in Tableau, if you have huge amount of data, then to Tableau's uh, optimization or work efficiency is very smooth. It gives us result in uh, less, less seconds and that is very helpful for us. So so that's the reason uh, Tableau is more preferred. Okay. What are the different live and extract data in Tableau? Okay, sir. So, sir, in uh, live data, if the data is collected uh, connected to, uh, let's say, um, a cloud or let's say uh, any database so whatever live changes would be done in that data would be automatically updated in tableau we mm -hmm. don't have to go and update but mm -hmm. whereas when we do it in extract we have to go and refresh our data so that we can uh, work uh, with the latest data so that is like the difference between live and extract what is the tableau product family can you explain uh, sir, I have not worked on more Tableau family, but uh, as for my knowledge, I have uh, Tableau public is there, Tableau desktop is there, Tableau server is there. What is the difference between Tableau desktop and Tableau server? Uh, Tableau sir, in desktop, Tableau... Yeah. Uh, so Tableau desktop is like, uh, it is in our machine. We can uh, da download the Tableau and we can work on Tableau desktop. And... Uh, I guess Tableau server, we have, uh, um, sir, I'm not pretty sure about what is the difference between both of them. Okay. So in Tableau devil, uh, desktop, we have to design and develop, like all report and dashboard, whatever you want, you can de design and develop where? In Tableau de uh, you know, desktop. You want to share this, uh, what to design, report and dashboard, you want to share it with your colleague, client and customer, we need a server. All right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. What is the difference between dimension and measure in Tableau? Yes, sir. So, so dimension is the qualitative value and measure is the quantitative value. So, uh, uh, the dimensions uh, are uh, name, city, uh, phone number and different values where uh, that is like a, a descriptive value. And mm. whereas measure, measure is a numerical value where we can uh, have columns like uh, profit, loss, uh, and we can do aggregate function on the measures. We cannot do aggregate function on the uh, dimensions. Okay. What is data modeling? Any idea on that? Uh, yes, sir. So, so data modeling is basically uh, creating a schema uh, about all the uh, about whatever the, we have a database. Uh, so in data modeling, we have two different types of schema that is star schema and snowflake schema. Uh, we look at the data and uh, we look at the dimensions and we decide uh, what type of schema is to be made. Uh, and uh, basically it is like an overview or a picture about the database. Uh, it can be understood by any uh, normal man who doesn't have knowledge about data. Okay, nice, excellent. So, do you have any knowledge on any experience on that uh, cloud, ex cloud knowledge, anything? Yes, sir. I've worked with uh, BigQuery where we can mm. write SQL uh, in Google Cloud. What is the difference between normal database and a cloud? So, so the uh, normal database, we store it in our desktop or we transfer.
transfer files from uh, our desktop to your desktop. But in cloud, the data is always uh, is stored in the cloud storage, and uh, anyone can access that cloud storage. And uh, in our uh, desktop, we have a few limitations of the size of the data. But whereas on cloud storage, we have uh, no limitations of the cloud storage. We can store uh, big data. We can store n number of size of data, and um, it is very easy to access data from cloud and it is very now if say uh, if i am in uh, pune and if you are in some different country and we want to access the same data from a server but it is difficult for us to come and manage the data but whereas in google cloud uh, it uh, if it would put on the server we can easily access the data so that is like the uh, basic difference of cloud nice so uh, you have exposure into python tool also Python programming. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Why somebody is required Python for uh, data science and analytics work? Uh, sir, so the analytical part of data. Uh, the predictive part of the data that cannot be done in SQL, that cannot be done using dashboards, but that can be done uh, using Python. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can manage, we can test our data, and uh, uh, we can use n number of different libraries. Uh, in Python to find out the insights from the data. What are the different li libraries that are used in Python? Sir, so uh, the different libraries that I used was uh, Panda, uh, NumPy, Matplotlib. What is the difference between Panda and NumPy? Uh, sir, so In Panda, what do you do? Originally, and NumPy, what do you do? Sir, and, in uh, yeah, yes, sir, sir. So, so uh, uh, in Panda, like uh, a time series data is there, which can be uh, both ordered and unordered data, and uh, the rows and columns uh, of that uh, data are labeled using pandas, and. Uh, we can find out statistical information using pandas uh, but whereas in numpy we make an array we can use some mathematical functions in numpy that is uh, tan function or sine function and uh, numpy is like a uh, preferred or uh, it, it takes less memory for us and it is faster and more convenient to use okay nice so you done B Tech, like going to complete B Tech from MIT Pune. Yes, sir. Okay, and you are basically from Mumbai, Maharashtra. Ah, uh, sir, from Pune, Maharashtra. Pune, Maharashtra, sir. Yeah. So, uh, why you choose MIT as preferred college? What is the best in MIT? Ah, uh, sir, the the uh, teaching side of the teachers is very good in MIT. Uh, they uh, they take care of one to one children and they look at it that the new technology is incorporated in our syllabus and uh, we get to know more about the uh, happenings in our industry. So basically, uh, data science was not introduced before, but to our batch, data science was introduced mm. so that we keep uh, to know more about what is happening in the industry. Okay. Then why you choose uh, data again as your intern place? Uh, sir, so basically when uh, everything is taught in our college, so it is at a very basic level, it is at a college level, we don't mm -hmm. have any experience of that knowledge, yeah. we just know what is the theory part of it, but to exactly. implement that in real life, it is very different from learning and implementation. So mm -hmm. I thought going with DataGAN will give me, give me an opportunity to work with the projects there and to understand what exactly is used in the industry and how it is used. Okay. Tell me why I'll, I, I'll choose you, why I'll hire you from my current company. Okay, sir. So, so the job profile that you have given, it actually fits me. All the skills incorporated in your uh, job profile uh, are been there in my uh, job profile. And uh, I'm a keen learner and uh, I like to learn new things and uh, give uh, my best to the company. So I think that I'm a good fit for your company. Okay. What is your strength? Sir, uh, as I said, I'm a quick learner. Uh, I'm also very curious and uh, my strength itself says that uh, I have very good communication skills so that uh, any business requirement is supposed to be done, my communication will help there. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
to the my technical knowledge i feel i fulfill everything and i have that capability of learning new and grasping it very fast so that are my strengths uh, that will help your organization okay tell me what is the biggest failure in your life and how you overcome so so talking about my uh, biggest failure i can't say it a failure it was a step to grow yeah. uh uh but uh, yeah so once uh, uh, there was a competition happened in my college and um, we gave our best and just because of some different political reasons uh, we could not win that competition so uh, that was like a point where i felt that after giving my 100% of knowledge and uh, applying everything uh, we could not get our best results we could not prove ourselves so that was uh, a point of disappointment there but i learned lot of things from that uh, failure and um, Uh, yeah, that I I incorporated myself and I could prove everyone for the next time. Oh, so just to want to one more thing is is a common things like those who are even your batchmate or any any student are watching this video or anyone in this college graduate. This college degree and percentage degree is fine. The college people are very competitive into. Getting the uh, you know uh, out of ten scale they want to nine point or nine point five. is that uh, how it will be impact to your uh, next level of your career is the really matters yeah matters all about your skills is matter to instead of focusing your percentage and the point it should not learn properly so that you are capable to be potential to be join any company so what is your opinion on that sir as we know everything has two sides similarly here uh, in our college to pass on to the next grade or to pass on to the next uh, semester we obviously need to fulfill our minimum criteria so i feel that um, learning the what is taught and uh, what is a base of uh, basic in our college that is also very essential but to grow in the industry we requires few skills that are to be enhanced so once you we get to know that what is our path and what do we like what is our base that will um, make us grow we should enhance more on that and uh, keep upgrading our skill so that we would uh, be helpful in our industry also and in our college also okay nice so nandini you are a fresher now if you are offering this job uh, why where are you going to see after this 5 year from now sir i want to grow in data science career i want to uh, be upgraded in data science career so in uh, next 5 years i see myself as to a position where i've upgraded my knowledge and my positions in data science okay nice nandini is really you know the discussion the interview is very nice uh, uh, discussion happened today and uh, i feel very happy to taking your interview and uh, do you have any question for us for me thank you for the opportunity given yeah. to me sir okay thank you all the best nandini thanks thank you have